Yes, still on this morning on ITV and on your darling program, Nationalism and You, we are going to be taking a look at matter arising from the terrorist attack on Catholic Church at our Undo State. And with me to take a look at this this morning is Barrister Suleimonde Appa, a social political analyst. Barrister Sule Appa, Bar Nationalism and You. It is my responsibility to make Nigeria work again. Your responsibility to make Nigeria work again. Yes. Yes. It is also my responsibility to make Nigeria work again. When you had that attack on Catholic Church in a war, what happened to you? What, how did you f receive it? Uh, Mr. Veniza, um, before I start, I would like to correct. Um, my name is uh, Sule Monde, Aku, not Akba. Okay, Akwe. AKPU. Okay, Apple. Yes. yes. It's an agony. Okay. Yes. Um, when I got the news, I was really down. It was really disgusting and um, least expected. Like, I was like, I cried all through. I couldn't behold the news. Where are we going? How did you get here? What happened to the sanctity? of life if you are in a position to advise what do you think where do you think are the what do you call it the complacent angle that is making these attacks to appear to be taking place without any uh, checks because they so appeared to be increasing as we are militating towards electoral year. What do you think is responsible for this? Uh, the, basic resp uh, what, uh, the basic reason why this has remained unabated is simply because of government responsibility. Government responsibility is the reason why these attacks have remained unabated. If decisive, mechanisms are put in place and measures are taken to curtail this. I tell you, you debate not the past. But we've had we have a government that is complacent about this issue, that is adamant, that care less. This thing has happened again and again at Fremen unabated. It keeps getting worse. No what action of the drastic efforts you want because many people will disagree with you they will say the government are doing all their best but this the, the, these people they are not what you call it the government is not a spirit that can be everywhere at every given time what what is the role of citizens in helping to abate and contain all of this uh, because some of these terrorists they may be uncle to somebody brother to somebody and uh, so uh, and so forth father to somebody Everybody know everybody. Are the citizens doing enough to assist the, 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 the government to secure the country? I will tell you that um, in most cases, citizens are doing their best. Mr. Beniza will tell you that at times there will be security info, there will be information that things like this will happen, or and there will be an attack. What happened to our intelligence gathering? People will go and report that there's an information or we got a hint or a link that social thing will happen or there will be an attack on this community or social places. Nothing will happen. There will be no measures put in place. Yes, I agree with you that security is the responsibility of every right-thinking individual, both the government and everybody. Nobody is left out when it comes to issue of security. I cannot see a love 20 situation and I will keep quiet. But most of the times, you will be incapacitated on what to do. Reason being that you are not armed. You can do less. The highest you can do is to report to the police, the constituted authority, that yes, I have a link or an information, or I got an information that so thing will happen or I know this person, I saw him, or I overheard him planning social so thing. That is the highest you can do in that regard. As at that moment, it is left for those consigned 
to take actions, to put in measures, to either stop such an attack for, 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 for happening, or apprehend, go after those who are planning such an attack. But then, in most cases, such information will be available, no measures will be put in place, no actions. So what do we do as citizens? You have less to do when it comes to issues of security as a citizen. The highest you can do is to report your the, the constant authority. You can't take the law into your hands. Except they come and when they begin to attack you, you don't know what to do at that moment. Now, the, before this administration came into place, yes. over 19 to 20 something local government were held by Boko Haram and terror group. Yes. Today they are not holding any. Now we have had what some people refer to as democratization of violence in form of bandits, which the government has also uh, christened terrorists. Yes. And the rest of it. The attack on soft spots such as religion, because no one would have imagined that people will be targeting religious places and the rest of it. Where, what does that presuppose? Many people say that it is because they have been largely decapitated in their operations in block and the rest of it. That is why they are targeting the soft spots like church and mosque and things of that nature. What is your take on this? Well, um, the, to think about what happened at uh, OWO, as a right thinking person, you begin to wonder and ask yourself so many questions. Why should it be a church or a mosque or a religious center? What are the rationale behind that church? You ask yourself so many questions and you will find the answer. But then, this thing started like a joke. And as I said earlier, those who have to have taken responsibility, show capacity that yes, we can defend the life of every citizen, have failed woefully in that regard. But do you know, do you know, do you know the nature of terror attack? Yes. Not being a conventional issue. It happened in Europe, I think Switzerland, yes. a church, people, is it a church or a mosque, people that were worshipping, Somebody just entered and they killed so many people and that kind of a thing. Now, taking that into consideration, many people have said that it is because they want to make loud noise that we are still a threat to your security. That is why, that is, uh, that is out of frustration of having been so dealt with, they are now targeting soft spots like church, mosque, and even marketplaces. Your take on this? I abs absolutely agree with the, uh, those who hold such an opinion. Reason being that if the military facilities could be in attack, then who is safe? Where else? He's safe. Nowhere. The message is very clear that we're in charge. That yes, we are much on ground. That is the message. If you want to witness, if we want to witness a different angle to this in government operations, security forces operations to worst eradicating this terror and to allow Nigerian to sleep with their two eyes closed, what are some measures will you suggest? Government must take responsibility. But of course, they have taken responsibility, and that is that, why they are always split. They are not doing enough. So what will you? What are specific is, actions will you want? It to is see more them? than enough to come and condemn. We have to see results. And the result is that those who are perpetrating this act be brought to book. Proper investigations should be conducted. How many people have been caught? Mr. Benizer, our security gathering is very, is very rich. We have all it takes in this country. Cause, these people make cause. They are not, they are not faceless. They are not spirits. They can be trapped. But then, because of complicity, at times, because of interest, 
Many people said that our democracy is fueling banditries and security challenges by gross deficiency in faith, democratic faithfulness and things of that nature. Will you agree to this? Of course, I, I agree with you absolutely. Why so? Sometimes, some of these things, you have to look at the root cause of some of these things. They didn't just prop up. They started somewhere. For some reasons. You can't, you can't in a way rule out politics from all this. Now we, are, now we are trying to round up because our time is far spent. Yes. If you have one word for the government and for the nation, yes. because this is the only country we have, what should we be doing in order to preempt and proactively checkmate these security challenges? The government, oh. must, government must wake up to its responsibility. It must show capacity. Now, yes, we can protect life and property of individual. That is the primary purpose of government. Yes, and so we rounding up on nationalism and you this Thursday. Until next week, that we will be returning to you on nationalism and you. Uh, keep faith with us, <coughs> but don't change the channel because more are coming for you on this morning on our TV.